Hi, this is Victoria, Programming Specialist with the Cedar Rapids Public Library. Here with my friend, Dewey, because we're starting seeds from home. By starting seeds at home, you can save some money. You can maybe pick up some plant varieties that you can't get in your local garden store. And also because if we live in a climate such as Iowa where it's colder, we can get a jump start on the season. So by taking our tomatoes and peppers and starting them inside, six to eight weeks earlier by the time it is beautiful outside we can take those beautiful transplants and transplant them outside starting seeds inside isn't rocket science but there are a few basic requirements number one containers and something we have handy right now highly coveted toilet roll tubes um, to use a toilet roll tube you just cut four slits about a third of the way down, fold them in on each other and you have a little self-contained plant pot. Um, really anything that you get from takeout, um, this is a great tray that you could use to set your little pot inside, lots of little pots inside. Um, you could go um, Prepackaged fruit. This is like a perfect dome already. Um, the light will get through here and it already has drainage holes. Eggshells, um, pretty much anything you can use to, to grow plants inside. Um, Dixie cups, yogurt cartons, um, anything that you can that does not already have holes in it, you want to make sure that you put little holes in because drainage is most important. The second thing you need is seed starting mix. You can buy the seed starting mix in separate bags which will be a little bit cheaper or you can do like I did and just buy a bag where it's all pre-mixed. Essentially there's one thing seed starting mix is not your garden soil so don't think about going out there and just digging up your soil and starting seeds from there. It has a lot of bacteria and fungus that can really make little baby seedlings sick and sad. So essentially what's inside this seed starting mix is perlite or vermiculite which acts as aeration um, so your little seedlings won't get too swamped with water and then also some kind of coconut coir or sphagnum peat moss which will help retain the water. So now that we've got it in our bowl we're going to mix it around and we'll add some water and get ready to put it in our cells. Hey mom what you doing? I'm ready to mix some water. Do you want to do come over here and help? Yeah, sure. You want a seat? Yeah, sure. All right. So you want to add the water slowly. Eli, are you going to mix it a little? Yeah. All right. Get your hands in there. And mix it around. Mix it around. You want to make sure that it's not too wet and thick, but it's still kind of crumbly. Yeah, it's really damp, mm -hmm. but it's nice. Pour a little bit more in. All right, Eli just got done filling all of these little plant cells on the tray with the seed mix. Um, one thing I will say is just make sure that it's pressed all the way down because it's kind of absorbent. Sometimes it's not pressed all the way down. So push all the cells down and make sure that they're all full. And when that's done, you just take a pencil or anything kind of the same shape and you'll make holes in the center of all your cells. If it's something big, like a big seed, a melon seed, um, or a cucumber seed, you'll want to make sure that you push it down a little bit further into the cell. If it's something smaller, like lettuce or basil, you want to make sure that you just kind of put it on the top of the cell, and then you add a little bit of soil to the top and just kind of tamp it down. Once you've done that, you'll put the dome on top, and then you'll put it under the grow lights. If you're going to grow seeds from home, you're going to need a special light. You could set it by the window, but then that's not long and naggy. We have a T12 bulb right here. You can also have a T5 or a T8. My mom turns them on in the morning because they need 12 to 18 hours. You need it 3 inches from the light. You can also pick up a light like this from your local hardware store. Maybe you know what to plant, you just don't know when to plant. 
I usually go to the Farmer's Almanac online. You can type in your zip code there and it generates the last average frost. Then you can figure out when to start your seeds inside. So for example, tomatoes or peppers, if April 30th is our last frost date, we'll count backwards six-ish to eight weeks in order to know when to start those seeds inside. One final thing I'll say is the common mistakes gardeners make in their early days are they forget to label. They might think that they've remembered every single thing that's in the in the tray, but I guarantee you, you'll probably forget. Um, some great ways to mark your plants and label your plants. Um, mini blinds, you can cut them up um, and label them with a Sharpie pen, or you can use um, little wooden craft sticks. So that's a good way to do it. And then once they are under the grow lights, because like I mentioned, they're in this tray, you can pour water in the tray, let it soak for about 20 minutes once the seeds germinate and leave, leave that and then pour the water out from the bottom and they'll develop a great root system and you'll have happy little seedlings. Happy planting everyone!